Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky Jr. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Henry Kaminsky here with another Brand Doctor Podcast episode for you. Hope everyone is having an amazing day. Today it's kind of a kind of a rainy Monday, but you know what? We're gonna keep rocking, we're gonna keep trucking. And I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who is uh, consistently tuning into the show. Got some really great, great feedback from you guys again, you know, over the weekend from some of you listeners. And it's just getting me so super fired up. Um, one of the things that I'm going to start executing and, and putting into play here is uh, I'm going to start reaching out to all of you on Instagram and Facebook and really start to challenge you to ask those questions that have been eating away at you when it comes to building your brand. And I'm going to start addressing all of them here on the show and I'm going to give everyone's question a huge shout out. So make sure that you tag yourself or put your name next to the question Um and the name of your business so that I can give you a huge shout out here on the show. So without further ado, let's get into today's topic of conversation. I'm having a little fun with this. So today's episode title is the only time it's okay to be a rat. <laughs> so what does this mean? What are you talking about, Henry? So here's the deal. So a lot of you know that um, I was born and raised in New Jersey, still live here to this day, love my state, love my upbringing. And speaking of upbringing, uh, for those of you guys that know a little bit about New Jersey, it's home of the Sopranos, that old school HBO series that just just set records when it came to viewership and all of that and had a lot to do with the Italian mob and... Uh, Here's what I'm talking about when I come to when I say the word rat. So, you know, growing up, I met some I met some very interesting characters for the most part. And some of those characters may or may not have been involved in organized crime. And one of the things that I remember as a kid very very early on was the worst thing you could be in the world, in the world. I mean, cockroaches have more respect is to be a rat. And when I mean rat, I mean be a snitch, be a tattletale, give up the goods on somebody, whatever that is, right? And I learned very, 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 very early in life that the worst thing in life to be is a rat. You can't be a rat. Sometimes you just gotta look the other way. And whether you agree with that or not, that's just the way it goes around here, right? So growing up, I knew, you know, maybe you see something a little sketchy. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta look the other way, right? So there's your Daily Gem, guys. Hope you got this uh, down and don't be a rat. And um, I'll see you on tomorrow's episode. No, I'm joking. We're not done. I just wanted to preface the acronym RAT for a second. <laughs> Let me get into today's gem and really focus in on the point that I'm trying to make. So I want you to remember R-A-T, the, the, the acronym R-A-T. And what does the, the R-A-T acronym mean? Well, it stands for relevancy, alignment, and transparency. And when it comes to branding, I really want you to understand that it's very, very important to understand these three crucial elements inside of your brand. And if you're not implementing these three key uh, assets, really, to your brand, you are going to be dying a slow death you're going to be dying a slow death. So this is the only time it's okay <laughs> to be a rat. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. So let's talk about relevancy for a second, right? When we talk about relevancy, I'm talking about 
how engaged you are with your target audience. How relevant are you with your target audience? Let me ask you a question. When's the last time you bought a product or service from someone or something or a brand that was just plain old boring? They put you to sleep, right? Never, never. So this, this is very important because you got to put yourself in the audience's shoes. And you got to ask yourself, am I being boring? Like, am I just blending in or am I standing out? So the way you stand out in the crowd is to connect with an audience that is really feeling and believing and understanding and wanting everything that you want and understanding that building this community around relevancy is what's going to make you more shareable. It's going to make you more likable. It's going to make you more authoritative and credible because people connect with people that are like-minded. That's why people join these crazy mastermind groups and these crazy cults and these crazy uh, communities because they want to feel part of something. They want to feel like they are uh, not alone, right? So how relevant your content is, how relevant your brand is to your target audience is so key. I had a, I had a quick conversation with one of my uh, clients earlier this morning about his shoe brand. And the problem that he's having is he's trying to appease everyone. And he's appeasing no one because he can't honestly speak to all different types of people. He can only speak to a certain subset or a certain segment of people who are into shoes. So I said, you got to get clear, dude. You got to get relevant with them. If you're a high-end brand, which you are, you can't be messing around with people that are, uh, you know, <laughs> wearing Keds. You want to talk to the cats that are wearing Gucci and Prada and are into those brands. And you got to start making content that's relevant to them. So relevancy, let's go into alignment, right? Alignment, what, what, why is alignment so important when it comes to building your brand's culture? If you're not being aligned with your audience's values, they're not connecting with you. It's like a Trump lover trying to jump into a Hillary campaign or a party and they're walking around with the Trump hat, make America great again. They're going to be ousted out of that party or campaign, aren't they? It's a pretty bad example, but it's something that just came to mind because I have a sister-in-law who's a huge anti-Trump person. So it's always a constant battle at family parties and it's we always win because we happen to we happen to have voted for Trump. So, you know, and we stand behind our vote and we stand behind what it is that we did, right? So we aligned with the values of other Trump voters, right? Where my sister-in-law is constantly battling us, which is fun. You know, at the end of the day, we all love each other, but you know, if you're not aligned with your community or your audience's values they're not going to they're not going to connect with you you're you're talking to the wrong people so what do we got to do we got to do our homework we got to find out what our audience values what are they into what do they love what do they hate and find out what hot buttons we can push so that they can say ah you're just like me. It's that simple. When's the last time you bought something from someone or a brand that saw the world from a completely opposite perspective? Never. So, and then lastly, let's dive into transparency. 
When's the last time you bought something from somebody or a brand that you didn't believe in? Never. So if you're not putting yourself out there in a transparent way and showing them how you truly are as the person behind the brand, then nobody's going to believe you. You can't hide behind your website. You can't hide behind your social media platforms anymore. You're going to be toast. You got to get out there and show true transparency. I show up every single day on social media because I know how important it is to have transparency in your brand. People want to believe you before they buy from you. Without trust, you don't have a sale. It's that simple. So let's recap. In order to strengthen your brand's culture, strengthen your brand's connection with its audience, what do you got to do? You got to be relevant, you got to align with their values, and you got to be transparent. And this is the only time it's okay to be a rat. (laughs) So take this, get it into your nervous system, understand the importance of these three key elements inside of your brand and start applying, start asking questions before you put out your next piece of content. Am I relevant? Am I aligned? And am I being transparent? There you have it, guys. Another episode in the books. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you had a little fun with it. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the to the channel yet, please do. Please share this with a friend or colleague or family member that could get some value out of this. And again, I could tell you all of this until I'm purple. If you do not apply this stuff, you will not make any moves. So have an awesome day, guys. Get out there and do. Start making decisions. Stop procrastinating. And start building a better brand. Talk soon, guys. I'll catch you on the next episode. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.